Hello, Umut here. Welcome to another video. Today is going to be a short video. As you see, I have a very small notebook here in my hand. This is from Moleskin. It's called pocket size. Uh, in some uh, cases, it's called uh, passport size as well. I thought sometimes I could do shorter videos with uh, not so much uh, focus on dimension and using different mediums but more focusing on how to combine different colors and uh, create nice uh, impactful uh, color combinations. So I chose this mini journal to create my mini pages uh, trying different colors. This is a normal notebook with very thin pages, but when you apply gesso, it becomes more resistant. So that's what I did. I dried it and uh, I chose gray as my base color and you will see later I will apply some very vibrant colors on top, which will make this uh, journal quite uh, striking. I use this dress paint first uh, and then later I will use uh, a shade of uh, other grey from Dilusions that is darker, slate grey this is, uh, so that I have a little bit variation in color and I actually wanted a darker grey anyway. And then I'm using gesso to light it up a little bit uh, and give a more interesting look. Uh, this way the uh, vibrant colors that I apply on top will be more visible too. I'm using this new uh, stamp set from Tim Holtz. Uh, it's from the latest release. I love these uh, stone uh, path uh, and the other brick path, brick uh, shape. So I couldn't resist uh, and purchased it. I'm using my Faber Castell pit brush uh, pen to do stamping this time. You can use this uh, pens to do stamping easily. I really love it. Uh, so you don't have to have all the colors of ink uh, in ink pads. It's really handy sometimes. And I am uh, stamping it uh, randomly just to create a background. I'm drying it again. Uh, as a focal point I'm using this penny black uh, stamp which has very beautiful flowers. And I'm going to stamp it with my archival again, as if it's coming from the top. As I said, this will be a really quick and easy page. Uh, here are my vibrant colors that I uh, selected. I selected a shade of orange, uh, pink and a darker pink, really dark pink. I'm using my Liquitex acrylic paints. These are really basic uh, acrylic paints. It's uh, really not uh, pricey. I got this uh, in a 48 color uh, set like you see here in tubes. Uh, I think it was 25 pounds here. Uh, I'm sure it's more or less the same range uh, everywhere in the world. And, and if you are a beginner uh, and uh, just practicing beginning, it's really a good variety of color to start with. Uh, and it's a really nice uh, acrylic uh, paint anyway. I'm going to go from dark to light, so I am just applying the darkest color at the bottom of the flowers uh, and I am mixing it uh, with the lighter color uh, first and then I am applying the lighter color uh, uh, in pure and uh, it will go lighter and lighter. As I uh, tried the light colors I realized that it doesn't apply uh, vibrant on grey. So I decided to apply gesso first. This white uh, that you see is gesso. So as you see now, we can see the real color, how vibrant and light it is. While I do this, I can also tell you that you will find list of supplies down below at the description area as usual. I'm applying a second layer of color since I didn't find it uh, vibrant enough. No worries, when you apply a second layer it will be always better and more vibrant, more pigmented. I will do some finishing touches. I'm using my uh, Posca pen just to give uh, white highlights to my flowers. Now I will do some shading around the flowers and the, and the stems. This will make uh, the 
uh, stamped image blend with the background better so it will look more realistic belonging to the background and I now realize that my nail polish goes with the background grey uh, it's a total coincidence uh, it wasn't on purpose but looks nice I will simply select uh, some stickers. Uh, this is from Tim Holtz uh, sticker collection to give a sentiment to my page. Uh, I selected uh, some uh, sentiments that I liked and uh, this is also allowing me to use uh, my stash. Uh, it keeps piling and piling uh, so I'm really happy with these mini journals. I can do more and use uh, what I have. Now I'm using Stabilo All Pencil which writes on acrylic very well just to highlight the sentiments uh, and I used the water brush to uh, blend it and I'm doing some white splashes uh, as usual I love doing it and the page is finished uh, I think it's simple and uh, nice uh, the grey with the vibrant colors on top goes very well I hope you enjoyed my little uh, art journal Thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you next time.